Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for coming to the, the post game. Um, just want to say the team played very well today. We have some room for improvement. Have some time for uh, questions. Over here, over here. Yes. What did you tell the team at halftime when you guys were down by more than 10 points? Um, well, given that it was our first game, uh, I told the guys just to stay in the game, you know. I know they have the ability to do it, so I told them to stay focused, calm down, and, you know, just play some ball. Co uh, oh, sorry, coach, coach, coach. coach. You, you, you look like your team had some first half jitters. What, did, what, what improvements do you think you can make on the next game to get rid of some of those things? Um, well, we're going to be, you know, run some serious drill, um, so they can definitely work out. And, you know, they, it's just a learning experience for them. With more games comes more experience. That's honestly what I can tell you. Any other questions? Yo, coach, 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 yes. coach. Uh, what, can, talk about your key players of this game. Who, who, who are the key players, and what can you expect of them from next game? Um, some of our key players, um, Richard Eversall and uh, Jeff Mollish is actually here. Um, yeah, I, I actually, uh, if Jeff, Jeff would like to answer any questions, feel free to ask him. But uh, Richard Eversall, Jeff Mollish. Um, James, um, Tom, our can, starting crew was very strong. What can you expect them from next game? Hopefully nothing but improvement. Yes? Uh, th this question is, is for Jeff. Jeff, as, as a, as a fifth-year senior on this team, you're, you're in kind of a leadership role. How do you hope to, uh, you know, have a positive influence on some of your younger team members, like, uh, like, uh, the, the young, uh, Air Spinner Griffith there. Well, we got a, a, got a lot of young talent on this team. Um, some of our starters are sophomores, juniors, um, but as the the senior member of uh, of the Sand Crabs, I, I like to think that I'm kind of a almost like a almost in a player coach position. I mean, there, there's some talent that's above above my level, but I feel that by passing on my basketball knowledge to uh, to some of the younger players, we can set a, a core group of players for the future uh, for Sand Crab teams to come. Uh, yes, Mr. Mollish, you had a number of turnovers in this game. Um, what could you do? How did you um, pull that off? Uh, well, we really we had we were making smart passes just at the wrong times. We weren't uh, we weren't focusing on when we needed to do them. We were a little jittery. We were a little too frantic. We were nervous. It was first game jitters. Uh, we had the right ideas. We just were not being patient. We were not letting the plays develop come to us. So uh, that was our main that was our main problem, I think. First half jitters. Coach, coach, coach T, coach T. Yes. Quick uh, question about question about your preparation for this game. I know uh, rumors are that this is your first head coaching job of a of a of a college level uh, team here. What were some of the things in the events leading up to the game that you prepared for your team, for yourself, and for the fans out there uh, for the Sand Crab Nation? Um. Well, it's true. This is my first coaching position. Um. You know, I did my research. I uh, about. You know, brushing up on my basketball. Uh, some people said I wasn't experienced for this, but obviously our first win will say otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, coming to the game, a suit and tie. I also require my players to wear suit and tie every day. Well, not every day, every game day. Uh, I apologize. So, hopefully. And, and, the same and coach, the coach, coach, quick question over here. Quick question over here. Yes. You, uh... You you mentioned that your first coaching job. What's it like to get a win on your first day out? Feels like Christmas. Coach, and we got one more question over here. Over here, coach. Yes, coach? yes. Uh, what's your prediction for the upcoming games? Especially your your, your upcoming match against the the Delco Bros, uh, a division favorite, in, in in many people's opinions. This could be the last question, and uh, my prediction is pain. Thank you very much.